This is Friday Night Hoops with Orlando Sanchez, sponsored by Carl's Jr. And welcome to the best game in town, Friday Night Hoops. And we open with your game of the week, a showdown in the PIL. Roosevelt playing host to Lincoln. This game had it all. End of the first quarter, Chance White all net. He had 23 points, Riders up 11. So who wants to see some dunks? I know just the guy. Donatello Tupper living above the rim. Roosevelt dominated on top by a dozen with two minutes to play. It was over, but Lincoln kept fighting. Malachi Silly Roberts cuts it to six. Then it's his brother, Maroney, the steal and the spin cycle. He finished with a game high 30. So we go to the finish. Seven seconds left. Cardinals down two. Sawyer healed calls game. It's all over. My goodness, these boys are gonna remember that shot for a long time. What a comeback. Lincoln rallies to beat Roosevelt 75-74. Their only lead of the game was the final score. South to Cleveland High School we go. The Warriors facing off with the McDaniel Mountain Lions. Big night at Cleveland. Athletes inducted into the school's Athletic Hall of Fame. Inspiration for SC Trespont slashing to the hoop for two. McDaniel fired up and on the run. Jeremiah Miller hitting the B button. And if at first you don't succeed, just stick with it, man. But the Warriors started to wear them down. Lawson Vela, perfect pass to Jackson Cooper. Cleveland rolling. And here comes the exclamation point off the tough defense. Christian Green, you know what time it is. Cleveland cruises 70 to 43. Cleveland girls taking on McDaniel. Addy Huss, nice move and the bucket for the Warriors. McDaniel kept it close in the first half. Ava Aria getting them with the crossover and gets free for the mid range splash. In the end, Cleveland had too much. Working the ball to the corner. This is pretty. Sadie Klopel nails the three ball. Cleveland gets the dub. 56 46. Down in Tualatin, top 10 matchup, T Wolves hosting Mountainside. Hey, it's Art Edwards' favorite guy. A wolf like this one, too. Malik Ross holding off three defenders. Tualatin up by one in the third quarter. Here comes Mountainside. Dimitri Cohen, money. He led the Mavericks with 17 points, but there was just too much Malik Ross. The drive, the harm, and the hoop. Ross had 21, Tualatin holds off Mountainside, 61-58. Wouldn't be shocked if we these, these two added again in the playoffs. Up in Washington, final Friday of the regular season, Skyview and Union facing off in Vancouver. Let's pick this thing up in the third. Skyview moving the rock and Laney Phillips from the corner. Skyview up by 20. Union answers, Mariah Gall. Three ball corner pocket, but Skyview dominates. Jordan Labrador Hallett, the step back three, just too nice. The Storm gets a 53-28 victory on the road. We roll to Prairie High School and the Falcons, they've got banners. We pick it up with Prairie, that's a jolly rank. Right plays, right time for the putback and the first bucket of the game. Battlegrounds turn, Yvette Rosales finds Hermione Bauer, she knows what to do. All tied up in the first quarter. Falcons respond, that's Claire Smith. High percentage shot, Prairie wins 45-26. On the boys' side, the Mountain View Thunder trying to lock up a playoff spot, visiting Heritage. The Thunder making some noise to start this one. Jacob Martin hitting from beyond the arc. Heritage trying to strike back. Michael Houston on the break. Let's go ahead and go off the glass. But this game was too much Mountain View. Thunder get a 72-53 win on the road. Talk about great atmosphere for the Battleground and Prairie boys. Tyson Davis, he's ready to go. Prairie setting the tone. Hayden Rose, welcome to Friday Night Hoops. On the other end, Tigers go to work. Hey, that's Ty Robertson. And he's tying it up at four piece. But the Falcons pull away. Brandon Carter, what's poppin'? Prairie secures the dub, 62-45. Let's talk some 4A ball. First place Union visiting Skyview. 
We're in the fourth quarter. Yanni Fasilis getting the ball down low. Puts Union up by three. Later, Skyview gets it back. Damari Collins, just so cool. It's now a two-point game. The Titans take over from there. Evan Eschels to Josiah Baldessari, making that look easy. Union gets a 63-52 win. Pacific Conference, the Forest Grove Vikings, 13-3, trying to stay red hot against McMinnville. Hey, we got a celebrity sighting, Spider-Man. Check it in. Grizzlies freshman Riley McManus has range. She'll make you pay. But it was all about the home team. Lauren Buchanan, she was serving up buckets, and we call that the shooter's touch. Forest Grove locked it down on defense, coast to coast for Allie Hammond. Forest Grove takes care of business. 67-30, your final score. South down to Newburgh. Tigers hosting Liberty. Falcons pregame got me hyped. We saw a lot of threes in this game. Kalia Cronister from deep gives Liberty an early lead. Second half belonged to Newburgh. And check out the ball movement here on the break. Ends up with Lydia Gray for the high percentage shot. Later, Allie still the rebound, the putback, just too strong. She had 15 points. Newburgh gets a 37-25 win.